In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We say all together, You are so lovely. It is so nice to see you and celebrate together this Holy Eucharist, which God wants to give us His Word and His Body and Blood. We have all the times curiosity to understand, to know who is God. If we read or observe the second you know, the readings, we could understand very well. Colossians said, Christ Jesus is the image of the unseen God. The answer is here. Believe or not, this is, depends on your heart, your mind. If you want to see or you know, the meet God, obviously, the scripture said you need to know who is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the image of the unseen God. Having the, this uh, true image, true presence of God in our life, how many times we complain, we doubt about God's presence? Especially me, how many times I complained to God about my life, about the life too sometimes. This is not good, this is unfair, why that person is many things, I'm not, why, you know, many, many other things. Unfortunately, we have uh, this, uh, you know, the not good things we know very well, compare all the times, even though we have uh, many other things God gave us. Today's Holy Gospel tells about who is really my neighbor, or I am really good neighbor to other. Probably, this is very important for us. Exactly what happened in the Gospel today, Luke chapter 10, verse 25 and 37. For you and for me is uh, impossible. Be why for us this is impossible? Impossible means uh, to love with our heart, with our strength, with our all souls, with our all mind, God and my neighbor. This is uh, impossible. But Jesus, it seems like, said, do this. You go and do like this. Jesus give us something, the, you know, the impossible things. He asked us, no, absolutely no. We need to find the meaning, the significance of the word of God. I will give you an example. There was a lawyer who, to disconcert Jesus, stood up and said to him, a lawyer, what does it mean? It means knows very well the Bible, especially all the Testament, especially Bible books. Master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? It seems like he's very clever. The question is lied. No, the question is wrong. You know why? He said, Master, what must I do? I do to inherit eternal life. So it seems like to enter in the kingdom of God, I, I have to do something with my action. No. 
This question is absolutely incorrect. But Jesus accepted this question. He said to him, What is written in the law? What scripture said? What do you read there? How do you think when you read? You know very well, you are doctor of the word of God. Genesis, Deuteronomy, Numbers, every you know, this, you know, the books. He replied, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. You have answered right. It seems like Jesus wanted to give him 100%. Well done. Said Jesus, do this and life is yours. How about you? Do you believe? Do you think this is possible? You can love with your heart, with your strength, with your own mind, or all things, God and your neighbor? To be honest, tell me please, I'm not. <laughs> you can. I don't think so. I don't think so. Even though you want, you want love with your heart, with your mind, with your strength, God and your neighbor, you cannot. You know why? Action, doing is not save us. Before action must be something more important. This is, comes from first reading, the end of the sentence. And I will read it. No. The word is very near to you. It is in your mouth and in your heart for your observance. Wow! My dear brothers and sisters, I'm 57 years old. I know I need more to learn. I have, a, as a you know, scholastic or study, you know, the level is a high level, 11 years university. But sometimes I'm saying myself, I'm so stupid. You know why? I want to do with my will, my intelligence, my mind about God's will, about the word of God. This is absolutely wrong till my mind, my heart, Going down in a manger, I cannot understand who is Jesus Christ, who is my Messiah, my Lord. I still want to do God's will with my action. No. Before your action and my action, something else. That is, we know very well, every day we pray. The grace, the grace of God. La gracia di Dio, the grace of God is important for me and for you. How can I have the grace of God? With a prayer? No. I'm sorry to say no, but I want to say Yes, when you listen the word of God, when you listen the word of God, the grace of God comes through the word of God. In other words, this grace will be the presence of the Holy Spirit. So today, yesterday, and tomorrow, you are listening the word of God or you are listening the <coughs> excuse me voice of this world. Obviously, if you listen continually the voice of this world or the your voice, your mind, you cannot do anything. For you, this is impossible. Impossible. The word of God is useless. No power. No living. But when you listen the word of God, everything is okay. The word is very near to you when 
when you love, when you want to listen to the word of God. The presence of God should be in my heart so I can do love God and my neighbor with my heart, with my mind, with my strength. If no, no, this is impossible. Why the lawyer could understand? Because he didn't understand the presence of God in his life. He just wanted to know this is the law. So we absorb this law. So everything is okay. One day we will be in the paradise, in the kingdom of heaven. No, darling, this is wrong. Who is your neighbor? The, your, the lawyer said in the end of the Holy Gospel, the one who took pity on him. The one who took pity on him. I am, or I have a compassion. You have a compassion to your life, to the life of others, or just your life. The compassion, where comes from? Comes from the money, material things? No. No, darling. No, absolutely no. The compassion, the love, the peace, the joy comes from the Word of God. So, if you don't listen to the Word of God, what happens? You are hypocrite. Jesus knows exactly human's heart. You speak, but your heart is nothing. My dear Brothers and sisters, who is my neighbor? Who is your neighbor? Jesus won't cancel or delete the boundary which we have created. If somebody is in my boundary, in my mind, in my thinking, he or she is my neighbor. Outside the boundary, no, I'm sorry. This is some of a Jewish people's mind. Today, actually, you have a lot of a boundary, or like Jesus, no limit, no color, no country, no nation, no cultures, no mentality, but just the one thing, God's love. The grace of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.